Sean, that was a really fascinating match. You were in full flow for the 5-1 lead and then little by little, Jack clawed his way back in with some incredible pots and it took a phenomenal pot from you to finish it off. Yeah, um, you know, I was just nervous, if I'm honest. I got to 5-1, I didn't want to blow the lead. I wanted to run across the line. Played so well to get to 5-1. Good scoring, good shot making. Uh, and I wanted to win with style and that didn't happen. And I got, you know, the, the more it, the more the match dragged on, I started to get a little bit edgy because it's a while since I was in that position in one of these key Triple Crown events. Yeah, I've won three tournaments last year, but none of them are as big as this. Uh, and uh, I was nervous. And, uh, you know, in the end, uh, it was a, a wonder shot on the black that sees me through to the next round. You won the Championship uh, League at the beginning of the season, but in terms of a mini session, getting to 5-1, is that the best you've played all year? Yeah, I think without question, probably better than I played in any matches at the Championship League and, and possibly for that five-frame burst. Uh, as good as I played back in Wolverhampton or back in the Tour Champs in Hull, you know, towards the end of last season, uh, where I played some really good snooker. I've learnt a lot since then, though. That was, that's not that long ago. Uh, and through my you know, work as an analyst and a commentator, I've read about the game and I've studied the game uh, and I feel I'm a better player than I was just a few months ago. And you just looked like you were loving it so much. When you came down the stairs, you gave it what I'm now going to call the Murphy twirl, the 360, <laughs> banged in the first long red. There is, an, there is a born showman in you and you don't get intimidated by stages like that. They inspire you. No, I, I think if you get intimidated by playing in a stage like that, unfortunately, you're in the wrong business and you should seek other employment. That's, that is what you search for as a snooker player. That's what we dream of. Uh, we did the whole playing in front of nobody thing during the pandemic. It didn't work for anybody, um, except Judd. <laughs> he seemed to like it. Uh, but, but no, none of us like it out there when there's nobody there. We all practice and you know, we live for moments like that. And, you know, I think uh, one of the keys is to embrace it. Enjoy yourself. It's much easier with a smile on your face. And speaking of which, Saturday is going to be an incredible atmosphere. I can hardly believe that all the decades, plural, that you and Ronnie have been contesting the Masters because you've been in the top 16 for so long that you've never met in the tournament. It's nuts. Yeah, completely mad. Um, I had to check it myself because uh, I've reached the age where I do start to forget the odd thing now, you know. Um, but, you know, yeah, we've never played. I've, you know, I've been coming here 20 years and obviously Ronnie a lot longer. Our paths have just never crossed. I mean, we've played pretty much everywhere else. Obviously, we've played at the Crucible and we've played uh, at the UK Championships. Uh, you know, we've played in a lot of finals over the years. Uh, and, you know, we've, we've both had the, the wins over each other, you know, stretching back a long, long time. So I'm sure the, the next match will be, you know, a very, very good show. We both like to entertain. I'm sure we'll put a great show on. And, uh, you know, I hope I'm the last man standing. And, and looking back to other venues where you've played, Ronnie, that Champion of Champions victory was very close to the top of your list of achievements, wasn't it? Because I think you had quite a big lead, 8-4, 8-5, and then he came back to 9-8. You won the title 10-8, very nearly getting dragged back into a decider. That's, that's a very special memory for you, isn't it? Yeah, great memory. Champion of Champions, you know, one of our biggest events, We're only, only for winners. So, you know, no one else need apply. And, of course, it's just the best players in the world, isn't it? Just like this tournament, you know, it's just the best players on the planet are here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, um, you know, I got the win over him there. Uh, he's beaten me more times than I've beaten him. It's obviously a very, very difficult test. We know that. They don't come any more difficult in our industry than playing Ronnie O'Sullivan. Uh, but it's a test that I'm looking forward to and I can't wait to get out there. Yeah, and we can't wait to watch it. Well done tonight, Sean. Thank you.